Hey friends, welcome back. Today I am going to be getting my yarn to the next step before doing some natural dye. Today I am going to be doing a video on mordanting. All right, so here's where we're at right now. I have my pot. I'm gonna fill it up with warm water. I've got some cream of tartar and I've got some alum powder. Today I am going to be pre-mordanting some wool yarn. If you're looking for a video on pre-mordanting cotton or bamboo or hemp or something that is plant-based, this is not the same system. We're doing protein fibers today. I'm focusing on wool, but this would work for silk or other protein fibers, animal fiber, okay? I'm going to be just doing a pre-mordant of one skein of yarn, one hank. So I'm going to use one tablespoon of alum powder and about half a tablespoon of cream of tartar. The alum powder is the pre-mordant and the cream of tartar helps to soften the yarn after the metal salt essentially frays it. So what do I mean when I say fray? Um, mordanting is the process of preparing your yarn, or in my case yarn, your fiber, um, to accept the dye. The first process we did was scouring, that was washing the wool, getting all the extra stuff off of the outside of the wool. And now this process is that which we deposit a metal salt, in this case, aluminum sulfate, alum. Uh, it's not dangerous, by the way, it's used in pickling and foodstuffs, so it is a safe thing. You can get it online, but you can also get it at the grocery store where the pickling vinegars and stuff like that are. Anyway, this part of the process, um, it binds the metal salt to the fiber, and that allows the fiber to more equally and more permanently grab onto your natural dye when you're doing a dye bath and, and hold on permanently. So if you weren't to do this process and you dyed some yarn, your yarn will accept dye and your dye will show up on your yarn. You'll have a nice colored yarn, but the sun, washing, and time will eventually have the bond between the yarn and the dye break down. That's called color fastness or light fastness or wash fastness. So the color fastness of the dye will be affected by not using a mordant. If we pre-mordant the fabric, that bond between the dye and the yarn will be stronger, more thorough and more long lasting. It'll help keep your dye on your yarn longer. Some dye stuffs have a mordant incorporated into them. So for example, avocado pits, they're very high in tannins. Tannins are a pre-mordant as well, or a mordant rather. Um, you can use lots of different types of things. You could use tannins, you could use iron, you could use alum. There's some other metals you could use as well, like copper, but I don't go into anything that I would need to like purchase a specific like chemical. Instead, I'd rather um, make them or use something that's food safe. So for me, I just use iron because I can make it myself alum because it's food safe and uh, tannins because they're found in lots of things like tea and coffee and rhubarb and um, and avocado seeds. They're also in walnuts and acorns and some other types of nuts and seeds. Today though, we're not doing tannins, we're not doing iron, we're just gonna be doing alum. I know this is a lot, but I think it's useful and I don't know if I'm, ugh, I hope this makes sense, but the way that I've learned it uh, has been if I pre-mordant with iron, I get greens and browns and, and dark cool tones. If I pre-mordant with alum, I get more um, bright and happy and showy colors. So I could use an onion skin, for example, which tends to give you a yellow dye. If I pre-mordant a yarn with iron, that dye is going to cool down in tone and darken into some kind of like olive green sort of color. But if I use alum, it'll brighten and sort of bolden it so that it's more of like a sunshine yellow. Um, you can play with pH and adding baking soda, adding vinegar, adding lemon juice, adding any things that are highly acidic or highly basic. And you can play with the pH that way and see some different color changes. We can do that in a future video if you just want to see some different pH stuff. But today I'm just going to do the basic step. If you're doing entry level, you're going to dye with some onion skin, some avocado pits, 
something like that, what you gotta do to your yarn before. So let's mix in the alum and the cream of tartar. Well, I hope that that made sense. Okay, so I'm gonna take about a tablespoon of the alum, put it into my water, and then about half that much of the cream of tartar, put that into the water. And then I'm just gonna fill the pot almost full, no, probably a little over half full with some really warm water. So I just, I feel like I should mention this as I put this on the stove. Um, although alum is safe and it is used in foodstuffs, not all natural dye stuff is food safe. So um, don't use your food pots, don't use your food tongs, don't use your food wooden spoons. Have separate tools for your natural dye because iron is not food safe. Iron is a toxic thing to be ingesting. You don't want to be handling that without gloves or accidentally having it on something that you're going to eat. So uh, when you're doing natural dye stuff, make sure you're not doing food stuff at the same time. Keep some space between them and have separate tools for natural dye uh, than that for eating in case that wasn't clear because I said alum is safe. Not all natural dye stuff is safe and not all of the dye plants or dye products that you'll use are going to be safe. So best to just have two separate pots. This is a dye pot. And now that the dye pot, well at this point it's a pre-mordant pot, is on the stove, I'm gonna turn the heat on to about a medium. We don't want this to boil even a little bit, not even at all, but we do want it to be hot. So I'm just gonna stir up the water just to dissolve the last little bit of alum at the bottom of the pot. And we want enough water in there for your yarn to flow freely. So if your yarn uh, doesn't, can't move around in the water, there's not enough water. If it can, there's enough water. Do you hear the baby chickens in the background? I have baby chickens in my living room right now. Okay, so here is my hank of yarn I'm going to be dyeing. This has been scoured, as you saw in the last video, um, with just dish soap and about an hour on a medium burner. No burning, no bubbling, no simmering, just hot. Same thing for the pre mordanting So I'm gonna put this yarn in to that hot water, and I'm gonna put the lid on, and we're gonna let that sit for about an hour. Again, I don't want it to boil, I don't want it to simmer, I just want it to be really hot. So hot, but not boiling, hot, but not simmering, no bubbles, just hot. So we're gonna leave that for about an hour and I'm gonna come back in an hour and then we're gonna rinse out the mordant and well, let me show you, see you in an hour. Okay, so while we wait for the mordanting process to happen, let me show you my backyard or back pavement. That will be full of flowers. These will be full of flowers. That bin back there will be full of flowers and this whole patio section here and everything that's in the light. There's gonna be a garden eventually. Not yet, but eventually. Hello old tree. All right, so it's been about an hour since I put the yarn into the pot. So now it's time to take it out of the pot and give it a really good rinse in warm water. So let me do that now. And I will keep this water because I've got other skeins of wool that will be mordanted in the coming days. So I'll just reuse this. I'll add alum to it each time. And then I will use it to pre-mordant other skeins. Don't need to waste the water. Okay. So now that the yarn has been thoroughly rinsed, it's ready. It's ready to go into a dye pot. I don't have a dye pot for it to go into right now though. So I'm just gonna let it dry out and, uh, or maybe I won't. Maybe I will do a dye pot today. Well, if you're not ready to do a dye pot, you're just doing a big amount of pre-mordanting all at once, you can let that dry and it is ready to go into a dye pot or it can be used right away. So I'm gonna decide if it's, if I've got enough light left in the day to do a dye pot. But as far as pre-mordanting goes, that's it. 
just has to be rinsed out really well so that there's no loose alum on it or loose cream of tartar. We want only what is stuck to the fibers left on the fibers. So that's it. If you liked this video uh, and you want to see what I dye onto this yarn, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It's really helpful for the channel and I'd really appreciate if you could take a second to like the video. Anyway, friends, Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons, everyone supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much. Here is the list of patrons supporting the channel right now. I really appreciate you guys. If you want to join the Patreon, check in the description. There will be a link to my Patreon um, and you'll be able to see some of the perks and join if you want. Anywho, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a great rest of your day. See you next time. Bye.